Welcome back everybody to another Terraria video. Today's video is brought to you by 101 Industries. We're playing with mods because you can't. There's a, there's a slogan because most of you guys are on mobile and some of you don't know how to install mods. So that's where 101 Industries comes in. All right, let's do it. Today's test slash video, whatever you want to call it, slash torture experiment. We got four NPCs here, okay? Let me, let me drop down here. To the vaults we got four npcs here and as you can see they're all in a different type of vault we got one just made out of a regular you know silver steel block right here or silver plate block i don't remember the name of this block it's from builder plus it looks really great and then we got one house made out of eula bloom ore we got a house made out of lizard bricks and then we got a house made out of dungeon bricks now you may notice that all of these houses are made out of stuff that you usually cannot explode easily and probably by the title of the video and the thumbnail maybe you already know what's about to go down now we got four people here we have the cobbler the weapon master from thorium the witch doctor and the tax collector so yeah we're gonna be dropping a nuke slash other explosives on these four npcs and uh we're gonna see if they survive now there is a bunch of other natural disasters and other just disasters in general that i want to put them through but i think just for this video we should stick to nukes and explosives because you know there's a lot of natural disasters we can use on these guys and uh I think a nuke is just a fine way to go. So I made a copy of this world. Hopefully the copy works. I can just drag it and drop it. That's how I'm assuming it works. That's how it's always worked. So let's hope that it legit works. And uh, we're going to see if any of these NPCs can survive a nuke slash bomb slash fission fusion bomb. Because I know people got mad at me because I said fission bomb, even though it's spelled fission. My bad. It's not a word I use in my daily vocabulary. So I didn't know how to pronounce it, but let's do it. All right. So we're starting off with the UT utility bombs reborn mod which most of these mods i've already showcased in other videos for example the nuke video the tactical nuke video whatever the two names of the videos are i think one of them's tactical nuke i don't know what the other one's called but yeah we got some uh, dynamite here and we're gonna start with uh, the water evaporation one now there's no water here uh, besides in their faucets but i don't think terry is that detailed so what we're gonna do we're gonna drop a couple of these down and uh, we're gonna see if it has any effect at all no then honestly did not expect anything at all so now we get into the more destructive ones we got hell dynamite water dynamite and fill dynamite we're gonna st we're gonna do water dynamite and see how that works shouldn't be anything too crazy it's literally just water so uh let's see how this works here some water did get in you see that some water got in through the trap door interesting i really did not expect water to get past that trap door but uh, now we know that trap doors are not the greatest at stopping floods all right next up we get very very destructive we got this right here the fill dynamite uses tiles from your inventory now sadly i was going to try and use landmines but as you can see no suitable item found to use so uh we just got to go with something else and uh what's just as destructive as landmines not much but sand is pretty destructive in terms of you know just its properties so let's let's try out a uh, sand selected mode no gravity yes that's what we don't want wait no we want gravity yeah okay so let's do it so let's see what happens with this they're safe they're still safe as you can see the 101 industry vaults are pretty damn secured no we could try a little bit more i don't think added throwing a little bit more is gonna do much yeah the 101 industry vaults, you know, handmade by our lab assistants, my lab assistants, something like that. But now as we move on to the final utility bomb here, we get to Hell Dynamite. Now Hell Dynamite creates a elevator upon receiving a wire signal. Now we're just going to make, you know, a nice hole just going right through these guys' homes. And we're going to see, you know, obviously if they, if their home survive or not, we'll do like two, two per home. So something like this, the houses are stacked on top of each other, so it's not too hard to uh, do two per home and boom right there and then now i'm all wired these up to one lever all right i put the lever kind of down here so we can see the whole entire set of uh, vaults here and let's see what happens will the one on one industry vaults be able to protect against elevators and oh my god it protected against the elevators what the heck okay honestly i did not expect that but as you can see these two top vaults stopped it now what if we were to put them here and then put one over here too L let's see if, if these two vaults can also stop the bombs all right so here we go testing out the bottom two vaults the eula bloom one and just the regular block one let's see if they survived this elevator dynamite 
wow those ones did not exactly survive but at the same time it didn't tear right through it so the 101 industry vaults proving that they are strong enough to withstand anything so far all right here we are back in a whole new and clean world well, i wouldn't say new but a definitely cleaned up world with all our vaults still intact and we're moving on to our next mod here that adds in bombs and that is the mega bomb mod which adds in a mega bomb a nuclear bomb and also adds in an eater of your world which shoots a planetary that will eat every block that comes in its way now i think we should save that one for last because i feel like this one it says every block that comes in its way and i i believe it personally so i think we should start with the mega bomb and uh just see how this works we're gonna place it right here where i'm standing and uh let's see you know how destructive this is hopefully not too destructive so i don't have to reload the world every time but let's see if 101 industry vaults can take on a mega bomb i don't know how long this takes if i'm being 100 percent honest Oh god, I'm hearing it. It's coming from the left and going to the right. Let's see if the area survived the aftermath of that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, you know, on the bright side, the 101 itself survived. So that's nice. At least our brand will always still be there. But our NPCs, they are on a trip. Oh, they actually just landed. Okay, here we are where the NPCs are. They're still alive and kicking. Uh, they may be drowning, but they are still alive. So they did indeed survive a mega bomb. All right, so I think for our next test, we'll try and stay above the vaults because I feel like it might be a little unfair being near the vaults. But the mega bomb just straight up ate a giant chunk of the world. So I don't think it would have mattered there. But for the nuclear bomb, and the eater of your world and whatever we use past this point we're gonna use it up here because it only makes sense that we use it up here because you know in a real world situation if a bomb were to fall and you're underground in a vault the bomb is not falling inside with the vault Nah, the bomb is falling from above you in the sky somewhere on the surface and the vaults are supposed to keep you safe so let's go ahead and let's drop this nuclear bomb and see what kind of damage it does or if it does any damage at all to our poor npcs in their vaults let's see i should probably do this okay Got a nice full view of our NPCs. Game is frozen. We're waiting for the brrr, or waiting for a game crash because that's a real nuclear bomb if our game crashes. All right, as you can see, we're back on top of the logo uh, is because that crashed my game and did not save. I feel like that happened in the previous video where I used that same exact nuclear bomb, whatever, it happens. Moving on to our next one though, the eater of your world. Now this isn't exactly a bomb, but it comes with the mod. So it has to be a bomb, right? It's in the mega bomb mod. So let's go ahead, let's test this out. We're just gonna go straight through, straight through and see what happens <laughs> the witch doctor just got ripped down to the bottom all right well uh i don't expect much from these houses if that tore through those but let's go ahead and test out the regular house and the dungeon brick house okay so this this definitely eats your world as we do know uh, i want to say it now leave in the comments other things besides chests and storage things what are some more indestructible blocks from other mods let me know uh these are the ones that i asked my discord and they gave me these uh i knew temple and dungeon brick and the eula bloom these three i know they're really really strong uh and they resistant to explosions i believe regular explosions and not nuclear bombs but yeah 101 industries has to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of work on their vaults because we were not ready for an eater of your world all right, so before we hop into our finale with the nuke as usual, we're gonna go ahead and check out, you know, some vanilla stuff here. We got sticky bombs, sticky dynamite, and just regular explosive, and we're gonna see if this does anything. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's see. We'll start with the sticky bomb. We're just gonna make it rain and uh, see if this affects the vault at all. Any of these vaults, well, at least the top layered vaults. Looking good so far. I don't think any of them went deep enough to actually really hit it. But uh, let's see. Yeah, that it hit the wall. But as long as everything else is still intact, I think that's perfectly fine for the wall to be hit. Let's go ahead and try out the sticky dynamite now. Let's go ahead and throw two pieces in there. Now, I bet if we do this at the lower home, that would probably take a hit. But you know how it is in vaults. If you're on the higher homes, oh well, you might get exposed to a little radiation. But if you're in the lower homes, you might be safe. All right, so I got three explosives set up here on each side let's go ahead and test this out oh <laughs> it, it killed the npcs so they did not survive the explosives because they they got a big radius and they hit through walls but the vault itself is still intact and the people underneath that first row of vaults are still alive so that that's a pass in my book it is the moment that we have all been waiting for tactical nuke time and as you can see underneath me i added in a little bonus house here chest filled with chests. so let's hope this house survives i feel like you can fit in there and sleep somewhere let's see if these generation one 101 industry vault survived that was very confusing to say let's do it Tactical nuke incoming! 
Oh shoot! See, I gotta keep the trend going of saying that every time a tactical nuke drops. Watch the last couple of videos where I drop a tactical nuke, you'll notice that I said that every time. I said, oh shoot, this time. Keep it PG. But yeah, I had to break some of the planet toys so it actually hits us. I thought I was in God mode. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, the damage isn't too bad. It's just, nah, it's pretty bad. The vaults are completely destroyed. The NPCs also completely destroyed. And the damn chests were destroyed too. So it seems like NPCs would not survive a tactical nuke, but they would survive a couple of other things. And uh, you know, 101 Industries is gonna take this study and upgrade everything and put more things to the test to make sure that we have indestructible blocks for our future vaults. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I got more stuff coming out like this. 101 Industries, that is the new company that I work for. It's just a made up company, it's, it's, it's role playing, all right? But yeah, if you guys don't know, I have a world where I do most of my videos in. Did the game crash? <laughs> All right, since my game crashed, we're gonna do a little outro here that deals with the holy hand grenade because I know everybody loves this thing. And to this day, I still get comments on a video when the holy hand grenade was not available for PC via mods. I still get people commenting, how come you didn't show off the holy hand grenade? Where's the holy hand grenade? You're stupid. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead. We're gonna test it right here on the uh, chest. It's gonna blow up the logo, whatever. The logo's been blown up enough. We're gonna try it on the chest first. See if that works. These things do take a bit to explode. I mean, it blew up everything but the chest, as expected most of the time. So let's go ahead and now let's try the vaults. So we're gonna drop, what, two of these or one of them? We'll try a one and just see how it works. And uh, if we need to place another one, we'll place another one. Now the, they can reach. They can reach. They're looking good. The vaults are still surviving, as expected. We're gonna toss this grenade in here. All right, man. Don't, don't, don't mind. I have a feeling the one to the right of me is gonna blow up because this one, like I said, is just regular blocks, no special properties. Yep. I'm sorry, cobbler. You no longer have a home. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This Mushroom Icon's kind of messed up because I had to break it so the nuke wouldn't hit it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, sub, follow my Twitch. Follow my Twitter, join my Discord, subscribe to my second YouTube channel. I gotta advertise that at the end of everything so that we have more people in more areas so I could distribute my information better. Because if you don't know, I post a lot of information on Twitter. I post, post spoilers on Twitter, I post spoilers on Discord. I even ask people in Discord sometimes for you know future videos, help with future videos, stuff like that. My second YouTube channel, I post my live my full live streams, which are pretty much tutorial playthroughs, and uh, you know, just just sub to my YouTube because that's always a good thing to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys i'll see you in the next video all right what's up everyone i got a little extra bonus clip here where i'm gonna just show this look at this this is kind of hard to find uh, my desk is messy like always it's all good but look at this it's kind of blurry it's kind of blurry let me see if i can make it better boom target for the switch it's actually taking me a couple of days to get my hands on this because you know one day i heard it was released in certain locations so i checked certain locations couldn't find it uh and then i checked more locations couldn't find it and then the 27th when the mobile update dropped i found it and it was kind of hidden i expected it to be like in a you know new new release section at gamestop because this is where i got it, it was gamestop i tried best buy and other places but now it was just chilling in its own like shelf at the bottom where i could barely see it so i almost thought it didn't come out but boom still wrapped i'm probably gonna definitely do a video maybe even some streams with this oh my god it's blurry uh but yeah terraria for the switch i also have terraria on mobile now oh wait hold up what was i looking at i also have terraria on mobile you can see a little bit better there we go terraria on mobile and uh uh, I don't have a way to record it. I could screen record it with the phone, but like I said in the past, iMovie files, because I have an iPhone 10, they don't really work well in uh, Sony Vegas. So sadly, I'm not gonna do anything with it uh, currently until I find a different way to record it. But yeah, just a little, little bonus content for the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed.